we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is fix fixing two nodes of a bht which is marked as a hard level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one node root of a binary search tree and what we have to do so we have to basically fix the two nodes of bht which are in a different position which are at wrong position which are swapped okay so if we will see the problem statement given the root of a binary search tree where exactly two nodes are swapped by mistake okay exactly two nodes are swapped by mistake which means if i will swap any of the two nodes the two wrong nodes once i will swap them with each other the bht will become fixed like bht will become a correct bht okay so this is what our task is your task is to fix the bht by swapping them back okay and do not change the structure of the tree okay all right and after that it is written it is guaranteed that the given input will form bht except for two nodes that will be wrong basically meaning ki there are in every given test case of bht there will be exactly two nodes when i will swap them they our bht will become a correct bht correct bht basically means for every node all the left side children will be having values less than this root root node and the right side children will be have the value greater than the root node so this is what is a correct bht okay i hope the problem statement will be very very clear to you now let's understand it with a few examples as well so this is the first example which we are given 10.58.220. This is our binary search tree, which is not correct, which we have to fix. Okay, all right. So here you can see, like first of all, if you know, if I will try to get the in order traversal of a binary search tree, I should get a sorted array. Like if I try to get the in order traversal of a binary search tree, I should get a sorted array. Okay. So let's see the binary search tree. Uh, the in order of this. So in order is basically left then root and then right okay all right let's go two is first of all two and then five and then 20 and then 10 and then eight so this is the b in order traversal of this bht okay is this a sorted one no it is not a sorted one we have to fix it if you will see if i swap if i can swap these two values if i can swap these two values eight and 20 i will get our correct bht okay so 20 and 8 let's suppose 8 is there and 20 is moved here so in that case our bht our this array is in order has become sorted and now our bht will be correct as well so what we have to do we just have to like i have some nodes 20 i will make its data as 8 and i will make this 20 8 data as 20 so now our bht is balanced is fixed okay fixed bht correct bht so this is what we have to do but now look there cannot be if suppose for now there is not 8 there is let's suppose 12 so how can we sort it by swapping two nodes we cannot correct this bht by swapping only two nodes so this like this test case will never be present this test case will never be present because there in this test case i have to swap three nodes which is not given we are simply given he, it is guaranteed that the given input will form bht except for two nodes okay so i hope this will be clear ki yaar, if at point of 8 there is 12 we cannot fix this bht in one swapping okay so this test case will never be possible all right i hope the problem statement is now very very clear to you so now let's move on to the approaches which we are going to take one by one okay all right so the first approach which is the basic approach brute force approach is very simple i will simply have one array list okay i will simply have one array list and i will try to store the in order traversal of this given binary tree okay let's do that so in order traversal of this binary tree is something like 2 5 20 then 10 and then 8 i hope everyone knows how uh, in order traversal is done if not you should practice it it is very very important okay all right so this is the in order traversal now let's suppose i have this is an array list and its name is in order okay all right let's make a copy of this 
copy will be having the notes salted okay so now i will salt it 2 5 8 10 and 20 on sorting this will be my correct so this is an another array which is let's suppose tmp this is tmp which is sorted okay all right and these notes are not just the values these notes are not just values these are the whole nodes of array list okay so like this too it is a node it is a node with left and right it is a node with left and right and basically all these nodes only of the binary tree which we are given so these are the nodes of it okay all right now what i'm going to do is very very simple i will just check 2 2 correct 5 5 correct 28 so it is not correct so now instead of 20 i have to put 8 let's put it okay so it is 8 now on putting 8 what i'm doing it was a node with left and right so now i'm just changing the value of this node from 20 to 8 so that in bst this 20 will become now it in this way what i am doing okay and after that similarly 10 10 correct 8 20 is not correct so instead of 8 i will make it 20 so like making basically means changing the value of the node which is already stored so this will be 20 and that's and that's it that is how our bst is uh, corrected fixed okay so i hope this problem uh, this approach will be very very clear to you it's basically uh, brute force approach i will say why because the time complexity is big o of n log n as i am sorting it it can be reduced as well n log n it can be changed to n log big o of n but we are taking some extra space as well big o of n space time complexity which we can reduce which we can reduce i don't need to store all these values in our one array list we can do it without that as well okay so let's see the how we can do it without storing the in order traversal let's quickly do remove this something like this delete it delete this okay all right so now i don't want to store the whole in order traversal why because it is not necessary it is not necessary okay all right so now what approach we are going to do i will have few nodes first of all first one is let's suppose first okay and then there is middle and then there is last and then there is previous okay so these are the few nodes currently all are equal to null all are null okay all right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to previous will have let's suppose currently i will do in order traversal when i am at 5 my previous will be 2 when i am at 20 my previous will be 5 okay all right so this is how we are going to do so first of all 2 is there okay nothing then i came to 5 so my root node my root node is let's suppose 5 and my previous is two okay all right and now what i'm going to do yeah if i can get uh, any point where my previous is greater than root so previous two is greater than root okay so yeah two is greater than five previous is two is greater than 5 no so it means this is correct it means this is correct okay moving on now i move to 20 so again previous will be 5 previous will now be 5 and currently i am at 20 so is 5 previous greater than root no okay it means th this 5 position is also correct okay all right moving on now i move to 10 so when i move to 10 my last node will be 20 so let's make it 20 so now previous which is 20 is greater than the current root which is 10 which is correct it means here i have got two nodes which are not at its correct position okay so uh, first is null so i will make first as the previous which is 20 and middle as 10 okay all right and now what i will do i will simply move on because look first was null so i have to first initialize first and middle okay all right now again previous will be changed to 10 now previous will be changed to 10 and current node will become 8 okay so again my current node is 8 so again previous which is 10 is greater than 8 which is correct it means these two nodes are also not correct so i now again what i will do i will simply do last is equal to root node which is 8 so last is equal to 8 okay so now i have got first node middle node and last node so these are the nodes these are not just values of integer these are the nodes okay so now what i am going to do very very simple i am just going to swap 
first and last when node values so first value node whatever node is at first its value will now become 8 so first what this 20 its value will now become 8 and uh, this last which value is 8 its value will now become 20 that's it guys that is it that's what we have to do okay so there are two possibilities actually why i am using middle i will tell you once why i am using middle look let me delete all these things one by one okay so now let's suppose the value of this 8 is 28 okay value of this 8 is 20 still it is not a balance uh, it is not a fixed bst it is not a bst okay again i will do the same process 2 5 20 and then 10 so now look when i am at 20 my previous is 5 now i am at 10 i am at 10 my previous is 20 so again we are doing the same process previous is uh, greater than root previous is 20 root is 10 so yes it is greater what i am going to do first is not null first is null at this point so first will be marked as previous which is 20 and middle will be marked as the root node which is 10 okay again moving on so i now move to 28 so previous will become 10 now previous will become 10 and now currently i am at 28 so is 10 greater than 28 no it is not greater okay and now that's it i have traversed the whole bst uh, now you will see last is null but there are two nodes which still needs to be changed which are first and middle so first and middle just swap them and that's it so there are two cases first case is when to uh, when the adjacent nodes are not correct so this is the example of adjacent nodes are not correct first and middle and second one is when uh, let's suppose the far nodes uh, which are not adjacent let's suppose 20 and 28 and 5 and 20 so these are not uh, 2 and 5 these are not the adjacent 28 28 these are not adjacent these are not correct so in that case i have to swap first and last if they are adjacent i have to swap first and middle very very easy it is i hope you have got this and the time complexity of this approach is big o of n because i'm not sorting and i'm just traversing it once and the space complexity is big o of one because i'm not storing anything and i'm just using few constant that is first middle and last okay all right i hope it will be very very clear to you now let's quickly move on to the code section but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video i understand it, this video is becoming a bit long but uh, i think uh, it's worth it as well because it's hard problem okay all right let's quickly write the code so first of all what i'm going to do define few nodes which are first middle and last and previous okay all right these are few nodes and i will initialize them as well in my correct in my current bht so do i need to initialize it let's initialize first is equal to middle is equal to last is equal to previous is equal to none okay so these are global variables because we have to access it access it in a different function as well okay all right moving on first of all i have initialized them now what i'm going to do i'm just going to ask in order of this root node okay so this in order is a function which will initialize our first middle last and previous okay so let's do that as well i will simply do void of in order it will get few nodes which is node root okay now if you know in order traversal uh, recursively i'm going to do recursively in order traversal which is very very easy as well so if root is equal to null it means simply return otherwise do in order traversal look left then root then right so i will first of all ask in order traversal of root dot left and guys if you don't know in order traversal please watch my video and there are more videos as well anyone you can watch i have also explained it in great detail okay all right so no issues in that in order of root dot left is done now i am going to do some processes and what process is that if you remember if my previous not equal to null and and previous dot data is greater than root dot data it means there is a problem it means there is a problem and like i have got few nodes which are not correct okay so i have to initialize them how i'm going to initialize if my first is equal to null it means first and middle look first is equal to null it means it is a first node which is not correct so i will initialize first and middle okay let's initialize them very easy it is first is equal to previous and 
middle is equal to root okay otherwise if first is not null it means it is a second node which is not correct second and it will be last because x, there can be exactly two nodes which are needed to be swapped okay so otherwise last is equal to root okay so in this way we are going to do and after that if condition is done i will simply update my previous to current root because previous is equal to root now uh, now i'm moving to the next node so next node previous will be my current node okay uh, very very easy it is and after that i'm just going to ask in order dot write so when i will come back to this in order traversal is done and i come back to 145 line i have few nodes which are initialized so let's quickly see them if you remember what i told yeah there can be two possibilities first one is adjacent nodes which are wrong and the second one is uh, not adjacent they are far away nodes okay so let's first of all check if two nodes which are not adjacent are not at correct position so how i'm going to do first not equal to null and and last not equal to null if this is correct it means these two nodes are not adjacent so very very easy it is just swap them how int tmp is equal to first dot data first dot data is equal to tmp uh, is equal to last dot data and last dot data is equal to tmp and that's it it is for the that node which are not adjacent okay and now for adjacent uh, what i'm going to do else if let's copy this only so in that case instead of last it will become middle that's it so middle and first dot data first dot data is equal to middle dot data and middle dot data is equal to tmp and that's it guys that's it let's try to compile this so i've already explained the time and space complexity these are the two things first one is when they are not adjacent and otherwise when the two nodes which are adjacent are not correct and here i am going to try to fetch it okay like got check which of the pairs are not correct let's quickly try to submit this as well if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video it will really motivate me and comment down how was the explanation this code you will get on my github make sure to check it out and uh, yeah that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye